Hello, my name is Raj Pochi Raju, Principal Program Manager in Azure Data Group. Our team's primary focus is to enable a seamless migration experience to Azure data platforms using our tools and services. In this short video, I'm going to talk about a new online migration capability that we released today using our Azure database migration service. The online migrations are enabled for migrations from SQL Server to Azure SQL Database, migrations from MySQL to Azure Database for MySQL, the migrations from PostgreSQL to Azure Database for PostgreSQL are coming pretty soon. Now I'm going to show how simple it is to perform an online migration using the DMS service. It requires four simple steps. At first, provision a new DMS service, which I already did. Second, create a new migration project and set up online migrations. Third, execute migration cutover whenever you are ready. As I already created the service, I'm going to create a new migration project and set up online migration. The very first step of the project creation is to provide the source SQL Server information. And the second step is to provide the target SQL Server information here. In this case, the target is Azure SQL Database. In the third step, I'm going to select the specific database that I want to migrate. You can select all databases to perform the entire SQL Server migration as well. And in the fourth step, I'm going to select the specific tables that I want to migrate. Here I'm going to choose both the tables that I want to migrate. And in the fifth step, I just need to confirm all the information that I provide. And I'm also going to give a name for my migration. And I'm going to click on Run Migration here. Now you can, you can keep track of the migration status here. You can also click on the specific database to monitor the migration status of the database here. So as part of the online migration, the DMS performs the full data load at first from your on-premises databases to target Azure SQL database. Once the full data load is done, in the next step, the DMS is going to establish incremental data sync between your on-premises database and the Azure SQL database. So while the migration is in progress, I'm going to perform a simple transaction on my source database while the source database is still online. I'm going to create a new department called Marketing Regional Office in Chicago. So I'm going to perform this transaction here. As you see, one row is affected. Now I'm going to go back to my migration service and I'm going to refresh the status of the migration here. As you see here, the full data load is already done for department table and the full data load is in progress for the employee table. Now I'm going to switch to the incremental change here. As you see here, the the new department that we created is already replicated onto the target Azure SQL database here. As you see here, the full data load is completed and as well as all the incremental data changes are applied. Now I'm going to initiate a cutover here. I'm going to click a start cutover button here. I'm going to confirm that I stopped all my incoming transactions to the source database and then I'm just going to apply. Now the DMS is going to complete the migration as soon as the cutover is completed. As you see that, as you see here, the cutover is completed. The next step is that you go and then change the connection strings po now pointing into the new target database to complete your migration project. With that, my demo is completed. 
If you want to find more information about the Azure Database Migration Service and leverage to perform your database migrations from on-premises to Azure, you can uh, visit our docs center in docs.microsoft.com to get more information here. Thank you so much for your time watching this video.